Dear Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sisters, our costly collaborators, my dear people of God, for the Diocese of Love in Kumba, I bring you greetings of hope, greetings of peace, greetings of joy, and greetings of love. We are celebrating the third week of Advent, moving into the fourth week. And at the beginning of Advent, in our respective churches, we see that we prepare candles in purple and in rose. On the first one, we write hope. On the second, we write peace. On the third, we write joy. We remember last Sunday was Gaudete Sunday, the Sunday of joy, of rejoicing. And on the fourth candle, we write love because God is love and we are all looking forward to the birth of love in the world and in our church. So I want to bring my message not only to the Christian community of the Cathedral Parish but to the entire Diocese of Kumba, that family of love, because love will be born among us at Christmas. For this birth of love, there is preparation. The four weeks of Advent are meant for us to prepare spiritually, pastorally, and in our daily living, putting our faith into practice. If we don't have hope, we'll not do anything. Hope in God. Hope in the, the, the support of God in our daily living. There are so many challenges in our lives which we cannot overcome if we don't have hope in God. And of course, peace is a very rare gift among us. And we need peace in our hearts, peace in our families, peace in our parishes, peace in our diocese, peace in our country, and peace in the world. And when there is peace, there's of course joy. And when there is joy, we love one another. So my dear people of God, I wish to call on each and every one of us to try to practice those virtues that we have been reflecting on during this season of Advent. Feel that peace, that joy. We need to inject joy in the life of everybody. So this is a period where you see so many people trying to do good. People practice charity at the, their best. We see people writing Christmas cards, bringing Christmas gifts. Many of the children I've met during this week, I ask them, have they bought their Christmas clothes? Yes. Have they bought their Christmas shoes? Yes. Those are all acts of charity to bring joy, to inject joy in the children. The markets are now bustling. People are buying, preparing to celebrate that feast of love, the presence of Christ in our midst, the love of God in our midst, Emmanuel, God with us. But we cannot do this if we do not all learn to practice those virtues in our daily lives. It is not a matter of a few weeks or of a day and we end up. We are to continue injecting that joy in the lives of people, wherever we live, wherever we work, in our entire diocese of Kumba. I would like to share a little story with you. And this story came to my mind when we were praying and lighting the Christmas tree. This was, Lord, put your light in our hearts. 
put your light in our hearts. There is this story. A man visited a friend who was blind. When he knocked at the door, the blind man opened the door and put on the light. When he put on the light, the, the man who could see came in and sat down. And then the blind man put off the light and went to the kitchen. After a short while, he brought two eggs and a cup of coffee to entertain the friend. And then he put on the light. And the friend, who could see, asked him, why did you put off the light before going to the kitchen? And the blind man laughed. He said he put on the light because of him. He needed the light, but he does not need the light. He can do everything without light because he has learned to live without light. But his visitor needed light to walk into the house, to sit. He needed that light also to eat, to eat and to drink. And he went on to tell him what he is doing that his friend should do to others. So each and every one of us, from children to our parents to adults, we need to inject that light, to light that light in the hearts of each and every one of us, with the light of Christ in the lives of each and every one of us. Not only during this Advent, not only at Christmas, but throughout our lives. How do we light this light? We need to have concern for others. When you give just a cup of water to a thirsty person, you have put light in that person. If you give just a piece of bread to somebody who is hungry, you have put light in the life of that person. If you have to pay somebody's hospital bill, you have helped to put light in the life of that person. So my dear brothers and sisters, we are celebrating that light. God, because of the love he had for us, despite our sinfulness, sent his Son, who is love and light, in order to illumine our lives again, such that we can live again in the light, and lead others to the light. So when we live in light, we will bring light to the lives even of those who do not believe. Christmas is not only for Christians. Christmas is not only for Catholics. Christ died for the salvation of humanity. That's why when we are celebrating Christmas, even Muslims celebrate with us. Even pagans celebrate with us. Everybody celebrates Christmas because it is a special feast. Nobody can be indifferent to the coming of Christ. Nobody can be indifferent to this great celebration of Christmas. So I'm appealing to everybody in the Diocese of Kumba to try to light the light in the heart of everybody. Children, light the light in the hearts of your parents. Bring joy to your parents. Ask yourself, what can I do in order to bring joy and happiness to my parents? And the parents to ask yourself, what can I do to bring joy to my children? We live in small Christian communities. Let us ask ourselves, what can we do in order to light that light of Christ in the lives of others? And when we live in that way, there will be peace, there will be joy, there will be happiness, and of course, reconciliation. And Christmas is a time for reconciliation, is a time of forgiveness. You cannot light the light in the life of another if you cannot reconcile. Light in the life of another if you cannot forgive. So this is the time of forgiveness. And when we forgive, we bring joy. And then take out the darkness and the bitterness of our hearts. And of course, love settles in us and transform us to be joyful people, to be happy people, to be loving people. So my message to the people of the Diocese of Kumba is that they should be loving people, they should be joyful people, they should be forgiving people, they should be people of reconciliation, so that that life of Christ will shine in our words and in our actions. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Happy Christmas to you all. Stay with you.